Catherine Hunter. Uh, welcome to College Cambria. Uh, my name is Anhara Jarvis. I'm the Food and Beverage Lecturer. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a student here at College Cambria. And we would like to now introduce you to a short video on hot party and catering. It's time to raise the temperature. It's time to dream big. Our professional industry training environments are developed to give you a taste of your future. A place to learn, aspire and grow into a better and stronger you. Come face to face with engaging challenges, real people, real customers and in working restaurants open to the public. We are about going the extra mile, the extra step to provide a truly outstanding service. Do you have what it takes? The ingredients for success are within you. Learn not only from books, but also from our expert teaching staff and industry professionals. Here to help shape your career dreams. Come and get the recipe for success. Opportunity awaits. Your future starts today. Colleg Cambria. Hi, thanks for watching that. Um, my name is Anhara Jarvis, like I said before, and I'm the Food and Beverage Lecturer. Um, but I teach theory across multiple levels. So I teach from level one right the way up to the FDA, which is a level five qualification. And I also, uh, I'm multi-skilled, so I work within the restaurant and the kitchen area. And I've worked at the college for a number of years. And I'm just gonna, Emily's gonna introduce herself as well. Hi, so I've been part of the college for four years. Um, I've completed level one, three, and my HMD. I'm now doing a work-based um, course, which is my BII, uh, which you get tracked through work and you're still part of the college. So what we're gonna talk about today is we're just gonna look at some of the courses that we do within hospitality and catering. So we actually do multiple levels. So we've now got a foundation skills course, which is the level one entry course catering. And that's run three days a week. It's run on uh, the site and Yale site. And what it contains of that, it's a course that is run with um, a certain aspects on whether you would like to do art, catering, health and social care, construction, craft, employability, engineering, and hair and beauty. Within all of our courses at the college, we encourage, and it's mandatory for you to actually do maths and English. You'll have pastoral care, and you'll have one-to-ones, and you'll also have theory. Um, we also run a level one and level two catering hospitality. We have a new facility that has been finally built at the moment, uh, which is at our Yale site. At Yale, we're actually going to be running uh, level two, three, and four and five. Uh, we've got, um, within the level one, it has aspects of restaurant and kitchen. So within all of our courses, it's very important for you to understand how to be multi-skilled. So we encourage you to be working within the kitchen with the chef, but also within the restaurant and bar area. Uh, within the restaurant, we develop your skills with communication and the way that presentation skills and your overall knowledge of understanding menus, drink components, and actually dealing with the general public. Within the kitchen, they actually we all look at um, health and safety as well as in the restaurant. You'll look at cost of menus um, and producing different dishes to current standards, but also to what the awarding body would like you to know. Um, at level two also, we have the fantastic Bryn Williams Academy. So for that, you actually work uh, at Bryn Williams' Port Area site, which is a fantastic restaurant. Um, we're very, very lucky to have Bryn as our ambassador. Uh, the students will actually go there so many day, weeks out of the year, and then the rest of the time they'll be trained at our Yale site. You'll end up with a diploma in professional cookery, which is a city and guild awarding body. Now from level one, you progress up to level two, and from level two up to level three. Level three, you can then be more specific in what you'd like to do, whether you'd like to do a front of house qualification or a kitchen. So 
This year we've run a uh, level three uh, hospitality supervision and within that the students have actually done barista qualification, they've um, done um, cocktails, flambe, there's loads of different aspects that we do within the, the food service and the same within the kitchen, they've gone into more in depth about uh, professional cookery, they've gone into depth about some patisserie dishes, stocks and sauces, it's, it's a really fantastic um, course to be on. For all of the courses, you'll have theory, so you'll have assignments, test papers, and practical exams. Within the restaurant and the kitchen, your exams can be anything up to, uh, night, uh, from 90 minutes up to five hours long, because you are in a realistic working environment. For any of the hospitality and catering course, you will actually be working with live customers which is really fantastic because you get the opportunity to have um, current feedback and feedback about what the customers want. Um, we also have a new course, which is the FDA, Visitor Economy, which is a course which is um, run by the college, but in working partnership with Chester University. And again, that's going to be run for two days a week. Uh, and that's going to be here at our Yale site. With all of these courses that we're doing at, at, on our hospitality base, we've actually got different career options. So you can be anything from general waiting on to bar manager, bar supervisor, a pastry chef, um, a chef de party, a comedy chef, and everyone starts at the bottom and works their way up. So within hospitality and catering, we've actually got different courses that you can do. We've got two, uh, a new course, which is the level two certificate in pastry and confectionery, which is really interesting in our new build. And we've also got a part-time course of artisan bread. Within working at the college, we're not just a general and normal department where we come in right or four. In hospitality, we work within hospitality guidelines. So the restaurant can be running four days a week, it can be open multiple times in the evening, we do functions and events, and we've been very fortunate over the last few years to do lots of uh, functions with various celebrities, but also with current chefs. Um, we've had some fantastic evenings uh, with Bryn, we've done one with Hospitality Action, raised many uh, for charity. We've done an evening with Gareth Ward, um, Wild Garlic, uh, Gareth Stevenson's coming in to do Palais Hall evening, which is really exciting. Gareth's an amazing local chef. Uh, we've had um, Kevin Lynn, various other people coming in. We've also been awarded here at um, Yale, sorry, uh, in our restaurant, we've been awarded a um, highly commended rosette, college rosette. Um, we have lots of opportunities to be taking part in various competitions. We also do, which Emily's going to come into all about, is we take part in world skills. And we're very fortunate that last year, Emily actually got uh, through to the final in Birmingham and competed and was actually in long squad for UK uh, in the top five. So we're really proud of that. And we've also got uh, another student that's actually just received his silver medal this morning from the Welsh Heats. So we're currently working on a good team working forward for the World Skills. So Emily, what kind of things did you do in the World Skills? Uh, World Skills consisted of uh, Learning different map controls, table layups. So in your competition, you get asked to do um, themed table layups. So I think my um, theme last year was around the great outdoors. Yeah. Um, my theme I chose personally was farm to food. So my table was themed around farmers. Um, so my menu was um, like cow print um, menu themed. I had a great um, welly boot filled with loads of flowers that you'd harvest from farmers um, on there. Um, and then my menu was based around seasonal and local produce that farmers around North Wales specifically um, produced. Um, other things involve cocktails, so you have to create your own cocktails and mocktails. What was that amazing cocktail you did, the mocktail? A lavender mojito. So you replaced the rum with lavender syrup. 
stunning. It's gorgeous. You should try it at home. Um, Flambe as well, Garadon work, silk service work. Um, and you tend to have um, your heats, which will have multiple, um, multiple activities that you have to complete. And then you find out if you're on the final, and again you'll have your brief for the final, and then you start training. So we train with a few people, different people, didn't we? Um, it's very much, isn't it? It builds up on your commitment to the course, yeah. but also your commitment to hot and catering because it's passion. It's you strive for excellence. Um, Emily and some of the others within our group, they are actually amazing individuals because they all. Um, they commit to one night a week training, even when they haven't got a competition coming up because they just want to keep their skills going. And it's all about the way that you present yourselves as well. Um, Ali, Emily's actually just come from morning breakfast at Palais Hall because she's actually working there now, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah, I'm a training manager at Palais Hall Hotel in Bella. Um, so you link with multiple employers as well on this course. You don't just stay in college, you work with chess races. Swedish. Yeah, we've got multiple yeah. people that we work with. So we're very fortunate we've got a couple of really good local employers that we work with at the moment, which is um, the Lemon Tree Restaurant, the Bank Hotel, uh, Bank Bar, sorry, and Bistro Hotel, um, Fatball Wrexham. We've also worked with Wrexham Football Club where we go into new functions and events with them. We've also done multiple things with Chester and Bangor on the Racecourse, which we've had a fantastic link with Horse Radish over the years where um, we actually go off and do multiple events with them. And they actually take all the students to the college um, for the, our hospitality course. They actually get, get to work at the May races. Unfortunately, this is the first year due to the pandemic that hasn't happened, but we're looking forward to working again with them um, next racing season. We've got, um, we also do multiple have lots and lots of different in-house demonstrations from previous students that have worked with us and been trained by us. So we've had Tom Bellin from Peckford Castle. We've had um, Charlotte Stanley. We've had lots of people coming in. Rim, we're very fortunate, has been in several times and given us uh, demonstrations on different dishes that he has in his restaurant. Yeah, it gives a chance for students to link with local employers. Um, gives them an insight into the industry itself and work experience is a, a thing that we really push here as well as the yeah. students. I've done multiple um, different work experiences over my time at the college. I actually got employed by Hall Fadish full time through work experience and the same through Pally Hall as well. So it gives you the opportunity to link with these employers and start your career early and really get yourself out there. And it's all the work that goes into it as well because Palais Hall isn't do it isn't just uh you know, you'd go into a normal job at nine to five. Um, catering hospitality you can do split shifts, you can work weekends. It's just what you what what you're about really. Yeah, you get trained to, for work instead of getting trained for education, which I think is really important. And what's really important as well is that we've done, we've been, uh, last year we actually went down to London twice, we were very fortunate, mm -hmm. and we were able to eat in various establishments. We actually went to Odette's, which is another one of Brins, and Somerset House, so we can tick off all of those on our little boxes. Mm -hmm. um, and we were able to taste and see different um cuisines which is all about building the character of the individuals um, we also do various trips around so uh, the, the first year students went to the Baltic market in Liverpool loved it they went to the museums and then they went to the Baltic market and they all tried different cuisines which they came back um, I had uh, many emails sent to me of pictures of students in um, different outfits where they tried on um, we also do uh, demonstrations, so we're very fortunate that we do for local WIs and various bit, uh, places. We can go out and do flambe demonstrations where we make crepe Sousa or steak Diane, a couple of classics. We've also done um, large events as well, um, so we've actually done weddings uh, in Trevor Hall. 
Llangoch uh, Pavilion. And we were also very fortunate have done two lots of testimonial dinners for Welsh rugby. Uh, one was for um, Ryan Jones and the second one was for Sam Walton. And we, again, there we linked and worked with um, uh, the bank uh, bar and elementary restaurant to actually deliver that style of service. So the students were actually able to see um, the way real employers work. And a couple of them actually got work experience out of that, which was a fantastic opportunity. We also have very close links with Rex and Tourism. So um, Joe Bickerton, who comes in and speaks to the students as well, which is keen to know it and knowing and understanding the local tourism. Um, because obviously in whatever's gone up, what's been going on over the last few months, we're looking at how to build that back up and how to build the links in with our uh, what our students need and what we need for the future. Uh, have I got anything else you'd like to sort of say, Emily? Or, um, because we've got we have got a few questions coming up, yeah. but I'm just conscious. Oh, um, the one thing that I forgot to say is that we have a new build, a new restaurant being built in uh, Yale site and Road Park, uh, which is going to be fantastic, but it's also going to have a cafe and bakery there yeah. with a barista machine. So um, I would highly recommend anyone coming to the college, uh, even if you're just a visitor or a student potential, you're going to have all different, um, excuse me, you're going to have different um, experiences. Yeah. The same every experience that you can get as well. We we do so much. There's so much travel involved as well, and you really get to know the industry. And you get to meet so many amazing employers. So take every experience that you can get um, and build up the CV as much as you can and enjoy it as well. We have a lot of fun here. A lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of trips, a lot of photos. If you have a look on the Facebook pages, Twitter's, Instagram, you can see the amount of stuff that we get up to. And we're always, we're always here to help and support. And over the last few months with the pandemic, we've actually done all of our teaching online. So we've actually kept communication going with our students, which is key. And um, so we are actually looking at, you know, keeping connected. It's all about communication. Any problems or issues, let us know. And we, we can help. Um, don't think that, you know, that we just switch off and that's it. Okay, so we're going to move now to any questions and answers. Well, you're going to ask the questions, I'm going to answer it, hopefully. Um, I do have a couple that are coming up. So one of the uh, ones that's come up is what are the topics that are covered on the course? Well, the topics um, are professional cater professional cookery, which is a level one, two, three um, course. But within the level one, two, um, you actually have restaurant and kitchen. So you'll do um, restaurant qualification and kitchen, and you'll also do maths and English. You'll also have the opportunity of doing um, uh, Welsh back, uh, not Welsh back, sorry, uh, Welsh as a short course, and also you'll have PT sessions as well, where you'll have um, short courses. So you'll have cyber safety um, and courses like that. Uh, another question I've got here is what companies we work with. So as we've said as well, Hall Tradish, which is at Chester East Course, Palais Hall, the Bank Restaurant and Bar, the Lemon Tree Hotel, Brim Williams, Marks and Spencers, uh, Rex and Football Club, and various others. Basically, and the Fat Ball, anyone who that would like a link, uh, please contact us and we're more than happy to sort of build those links up. Will there be a mix of practical and theory work? Well, Emily, I'm going to go pass that one to you because I've just been talking about <laughs> Yes, there is a mixture of practical and theory. Um, level one to level three, you do theory and the practical. Um, that gives you a chance to really put your theory into practice and understand why you're doing specific things, especially with food safety, um, your long day, your barista, you understand the thought process behind it, then you put it into practice. Um, for the um, FDA, it's more theory based, I believe, but you do do practical as well. So just because you're on FDA doesn't mean that you don't part, um, take part in functions and events and helping the uh, lower levels as well. It's really important that you come in and help the level ones, the level three, and be supportive with them. So yeah, there's a mixture. 
Um, Owen's just come on now to say, how do I join the Broom Williams Academy? Hi, Owen. Um, how you join it? You simply just contact the college at www.camria.ac.uk and just apply online. Um, say that you're interested in Broom Williams Academy. Uh, what happens then is your application goes through. You'll have an interview by Bryn or one of Bryn's team to see whether you fit the bill. And then it goes on from set there. Within the practical as well and theory, what I forgot to mention was that we very much have a nurturing uh, environment, just like everywhere at the college, we get everyone to support each other. So we have kind of a buddy system going where we'll, in a practical area, we'll buddy up the level threes with the level ones, level twos with the entries, just to sort of help support and develop them for the future. And it's all about being um, supportive and helping people to achieve. I'm very fortunate that when I'm in the restaurant or the kitchen or doing a demonstration in my classroom here, I get people to come and help me, come and show me what you're going to do. Um, we're here with health and safety as well. You'll see, notice there'll be a fire extinguisher somewhere and a fire blanket, uh, but we're very much on uh, supporting and helping each other. We've also brought on here about will I go on work experience? Well, yes, over the years we've got a, we've developed a very close relationship with Chester Reeves Board. So you actually get paid for that, it goes into your bank account. Um, some of the other companies you actually would work for free with them to get the experience, but at Chester they do actually pay you because you're working at their race course. But you are treated as an employer. Uh, employee so you must work as an employee and um, the whole time up to May that's where we get you to that standard there's lots of links and lots of possibilities I think Emily will tell you that um, I think I asked you to go to pa Palais oh, yeah. and we've never looked back so you know she's done really well but she's not the only student I've helped out to get a job we've got another guy uh, who's now uh, an assistant manager at the lemon tree which is Adam Jones he actually left us to go to uni came back and said, I haven't got a job, what can you do? And straight away, we were very fortunate that we've got such good links. I uh, got an email, a message from Liam. What type of events can I take part in? Wow, where can I start? Too this, many. <laughs> this is so many. Um, we do Sam, jo Sam Warburton's testimony of Dilla for 250. Uh, we did Harry Potter event movie night at St Giles's, which was uh, 200 people buffet, and all the students dressed up as uh, in Harry Potter, out Harry Potter outfits, including me. Um, we've done Spanish evenings, we've done demonstrations at Wrexham Food Festival, gym nights, gym nights with Fat Four um, and the band. Um, there's just so many. There's there's lots of opportunity. You can even go out and uh, Emily took part in uh, beef chew. Yes, yeah. So she actually helped to serve uh, all these people with beef tasters at Cleese Fasty, and then they said to her, "Right, do you want to sit down?" So they were actually able then to taste the meats that the customers had paid for. So it's amazing. Um, chest races, we've done so many with them. Um, over the time, I'm actually a former student of Inside College back in the day, and I'm very fortunate. We did lots of events, so you know, working with uh, companies, and went, I even went over to France to Paris Air Show. So there's lots and lots of different opportunities. You also get a chance to plan your own events as well. Yeah. So um, especially in level two and level three, you get an opportunity to plan your own events as a um, level, um, and it really shows your creativity with that. So um, one of my um, fellow students, we both decided to gym nights in aid of the college charity, yeah. uh, which was the MSPCC a few years ago. Um, and that gave us the opportunity to, to link with those employers. So I linked with Alex Jones from the bank and um, Josh linked with Finn from the Fat Ball. Um, and it gave us a chance to pull our creativity out with our venues and the gyms that we wanted. So you also have that and it's also about you understanding how much things cost as well because yeah. um, ordering the gin bottles in it was working out the quantities and the quality of the gin um, also about supporting local so we were looking at other four uh, gins um, you know even speaking to students they might like, you get 28 portions out of that so you need to make sure that you only buy sufficient to how many customers you've got coming in with a, a little bit of leeway. Um, because if you order too much, you're taking into your profits. Um, 
So what progression from the hospitality courses? Well, there's loads of progression. Um, once you've done the FDA, you can actually go up and finish and do a degree in tourism. The FDA actually gives you the opportunity to be working and understanding about the uh, tourism environment as well. It's, so it's a new course that's been created or working with the college. Um, within that, we're actually working with the tourism department. So hospitality and tourism work really well together. Um, so we'll be linking with the tutors from there and actually discussing and developing uh, what we're going to be looking at is in the tourism concepts and looking at the, the local issues that are happening within our environment as well. We've got a new question from Lowry. What qualifications do I need to need for the foundation degree? Um, the foundation degree you'll need, um, I think, for the level threes, they're typically um, five GCSEs, A and C, and you'll also need um, background in hospitality. Um, but drop us a line at uh, the college and student services, and we'll be able to give you much more information. Yeah. <laughs> Just got a little message from one of our, st our students. Hi, yeah. Hi, Josh. Hi, okay. Josh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we can, what, how many days the college um, are you in college for? Well, for the FDA, it's two days a week, uh, which is, I think, is going to be a Monday and a Wednesday. Uh, level three course is four days a week. Level two is four days, and level one and entry is three days a week. Um, can we look if we got any more questions coming in? No. Have you got anything you want to add to it, Ed? No, I don't think so, unless there's anything you want to ask me. Um, what did you think about the the whole way the student like funding and stuff that you had student funding um it was really great actually um so i progressed from level three onto the hmd that, that it was um when i applied now it's the fda um but you get student funding so if you apply to welsh government funding you have your course paid for but then you can also get a grant as well and you can also apply like a normal uni, um funding which allows you to borrow your books and borrow the resources that you need to complete your, your degree um, and it also allows you to take that chance to work casually as well if you'd like to um, so you can still have the time to work but then you also have the resources from the funding and the same thing is with entry up to level one, uh, entry level one, level two, and level three, there are funding available. Yeah. You will need to have uniform. Um, we don't advise you to get nice uh, at the beginning of the course because basically we supply them here at the college for safety. Um, for the health and safety, you will need proper uniform, so you'll need shoes, not trainers, not trainers. Yeah. Steel toe cap shoes, um, break them in before, <laughs> break the shoes, in. and make sure that you've got your uniform. Come and speak to us about your uniform because you'll need white long sleeve shirt, you'll need trousers, not jeans, you'll need chef trousers, chef jackets, and they're specific to where you're going to be working. Um, and also, if you're working within the Brown Williams Academy, you'll be given a certain style of uniform for them as well. So that will fit in with his ethos and his business. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much everything, everything covered. Any questions at all, please, please, please have a look at for further information at www.cambria.ac.uk or email studentservices at cambria.ac.uk. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. We've really enjoyed our little chat with you. And the awesome hour.